If you're in the market for a wireless microphone solution for your camera or smartphone, you're probably considering something like the DJI wireless mic or the Rode Wireless Go 2, but are there any other or maybe even cheaper solutions out there? Well, let's find out. Today we're going to have a look at the Vimo C from Comica. They've sent over this wireless microphone for me to review. Full disclaimer, no money has exchanged hands and they have no saying whatsoever in what goes into this video. Also they have not seen this video before it goes live. And while I get to keep this microphone, you will always get my honest opinion on any of the products that I review here on this channel. So let's dive in. Alright, so we're gonna have a look at what comes in the box, then we're gonna look at some of the key features of the Vimo C, and most importantly, of course, we're gonna have a look at the sound quality. In fact, you've been listening to the Vimo C from the very beginning of this video. We're gonna compare it to the Rode NT2000 that I usually use in this setup, as well as the DJI wireless mic. Okay, so the Vimo C comes in this tiny little box right here, and it actually comes with quite a few accessories. So right here we have a TRS cable, as well as a TRRS cable, that helps if you wanna connect it to uh, your laptop, for instance. Then right here we have a USB-C charging cable. That's what goes directly into the bottom of the charging case. Then the microphone comes with two of these wind muffs. They are actually quite fiddly to use. I couldn't get them on there very easily. They're basically only secured by this rubber band. So I'm not sure how that will play out in the wild. But anyways, moving on right here, we have a charging slash monitoring cable that will allow you to plug in a USB headset as well as charge the unit at the same time. The Vimo C, including the charging case, has a total battery life of up to 20 hours, while you can record up to eight hours in a single charge. As I mentioned earlier, due to the cables and all the accessories the Vimo C comes with, you can connect it to almost any device, such as your phone, the camera as we do it right now, or even your laptop. It can be used for vlogging, talking head style videos like this one, or even interviews with two people. The microphones also have a one-click denoise option, which will eliminate unwanted background noise. And as I mentioned before, it has real-time monitoring, so you can plug in your USB headset right into the receiver and monitor your audio. If you've seen my video on the DJI wireless mic, you noticed that I had a bunch of issues with the cable that it came with. With the Vimo C, on the other hand, you get this very nice curled cable that is completely out of the way, doesn't block the screen or anything, and it works great. Another cool feature that caught my attention is that you can flip the um, orientation of the screen. So no matter how you plug it into your camera or wherever, you will always be able to see what's going on on your screen. Speaking of the receiver, you can set the audio levels for both microphones from one to four. I have mine sitting at four, and that also allows me to keep the audio levels inside the camera rather on the lower end, which overall used to give me a better result. Overall, I think the Vimo C is very straightforward and easy to use. I just think it gives you the right amount of options for you to just quickly set it up and start filming. Even though the microphones are omnidirectional, I noticed that if you have it right in front of you, it gives you better quality compared to when you tuck it to your hoodie, for instance. All right, so this is what the microphone sounds like when it's tucked right here on my sweatshirt. Does it sound any better? Is it worse? And yeah, I think I actually prefer the magnet mount that I get with the um, DJI wireless mic, so I can have it sit a little further down here. Actually, one thing I would like to mention, you can also, right here on the submitter, press a button and... And also when you press the denoise button, it turns green, as you can see here. Moving on, the microphone allows you to record in three different modes. There's stereo, which will allow you to use two microphones to record one source of audio. There's the mono channel that we're currently using. And lastly, there is a safety track that you can use, which will capture a much lower signal. Now let's have a look at the case for a moment. I have to say that it is a little bit of a cheaper material, but I don't mind it at all. The microphones are paired out of the box and they turn on and off if you take them out or put them back into the charging case. All right, and now we are comparing the Vimo C to the DJI wireless microphone. Overall, I gotta say, I've been pretty impressed by this microphone. The sound is super clear right out of the box, and I didn't get any of the white noise or background noise, even when boosting the values in post by quite a bit. 
Also, I hope we don't get any interference issues right now with these two microphones recording. As I mentioned earlier, it is a rather cheap and light plastic build with the Vimo C, but I don't mind that at all. It's actually quite nice and light. All right, and now I have connected the Vimo C to my Huawei P20 Pro. This is obviously quite an old phone and we are looking at the front facing camera as well, but this is all about the audio and not the video quality. As you can see, the Vimo C is right here and I've changed the audio input value from four to one because I noticed the audio was getting a little hot. All right, and just for the sake of it, we went out in the park, I mean, at least, through these speakers right here to test how the microphone performs with the noise cancellation. So let's turn noise cancellation on right now. This is the microphone with noise cancellation turned on. Does it make any difference? Is it good? Is it bad? So I just switched it off again. Does it make any difference? Well, I don't know. Turned it back on again. Is all the background noise gone? Because we are still in the park. Turned it back off again. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so I put the microphone back to where we had it initially. That is right next to the Rode NT2000. We're also going to compare it to that. Of course, that is not at all a fair comparison. This is a studio type of microphone, while this is a tiny wireless microphone. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, so what is my conclusion? I like it. I actually like it a lot. It is super easy and straightforward to use. You just plug it in, hit record, and you're basically good to go. I think it would have been cool if there was also a iPhone adapter. So I could have tested it with the iPhone 14. But other than that, I really think it is a very decent microphone, especially considering its price point. And that is actually something we haven't talked about yet. The Vimo C will retail for only $139 in the US and 179 euros here in Europe. And and for that, I think it is a great deal and a cheaper alternative to some of the other microphones out there. Really, my only critique would be the wind muffs. It wasn't as easy to get them on there, and I'm not sure if they will stay on there out in the field. But again, other than that, it's been a great experience. If you want to pick one up, I will, of course, have a link for you down below in the video description. Thanks again to Comicar for sending over this unit for me to review. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.